So, Dr. Carl, what's it like being back here? Um, strangely evocative, but I don't know of what. There's this infantile amnesia that everybody has because they can't remember anything under the age of six. But there's just something nibbling away, but I don't know if it's because I want it to nibble away or whether it's really there. But it is definitely slightly disquieting. Apparently we just got taken off the boat and shoved onto a train and end up here and then we just got told what to do. The weird thing was that my father was, for back then, incredibly highly educated. He had a master's degree, which is very rare. For many years here, they took no account of any knowledge, education, training or specific skills that you might have. So he started work as a labourer. So it was a bit of a waste, but at least nobody was shooting at them, so I guess that was good. Okay. Wow. So this has just been painted. Mm. We've done some major renovations, but this is really what the size would have been. For a, oh, a small family? Small family. Yeah. Your family would have been here in a size. Uh, but it'd be so hot in summer and cold in winter. I came back with my mother after my father had died, and she got very emotional, and she said we, we lived in something like this, and uh, I, I couldn't remember anything, but I was just you know, reliving it through her. They were separated because you were offered a job and you had to take the job, and then once the job was over, you then had to come back. And in my fa father's case, he left his only ever wife and his only ever son and just vanished into the top end of South Australia to put pipelines in. That was a hard thing to do when you had no other relatives on this side of the equator. This was the kitchen. The kitchen. Catering, meals. Wow. I must have walked through here. I must have come through here with my parents. Well, in terms of culture shock, it was a real food shock because you're coming from a country, or a bunch of countries in Europe, that have got thousands of years of accumulated history. For example, sliced meats, yeah. hundreds of different types. And when they came to Australia, it was Devon. <laughs> that was it. Stanislav, it's been very interesting to come here to try to relive the experience of the displaced. Uh, my father was unable to communicate or articulate his experience, his health. I grew up in a refugee camp. Um, that makes me technically a refugee, I guess. 